At AMX, our focus is AVE for an IT world. I'm Justin Kennedy and I'm here to tell you a little bit about some ways that you can simplify your audio video equipment inside your classroom and your conference room. First of all, I want to talk to you about our new Rapid Project Maker 2.0. Rapid Project Maker 2.0 provides full support for dual room functionality with the single DVX platform. Inside of this, we've got the ability now to manage two separate rooms with a single DVX on our dual room project. So as you go into the project, you'll see that we've got the ability to have two separate rooms that can be controlled by a single DVX. You simply add that second room name into the project list and that will give you the details to simplify the implementation of that second room. It's also a cost effective saving that will extremely help out uh, reducing costs of the hardware for the room by using that single DVX platform. Now, as you go through, you're going to actually see that we've increased the number of devices and the support for devices within the RPM platform. You'll notice here that we do now support a non-controlled preview monitor. Um, one of the other features that we've added in is support for our G5 touch panels as well as our Enzo. And I do want to mention on the touch panel piece that you can now remove the touch panel out of the system, use a keypad or occupancy sensor only, as well as increase that touch panel to up to four in-room panels per system. One of the things that we've added that really helps simplify that installation from that reliability standpoint to make sure that everything is connected properly is that image of that DVX platform that you're connecting your equipment to. This gives you right on the screen the ability to see all of your inputs and your outputs for that particular DVX platform that you're building. Now, as you jump into the macros within RPM 2.0, you'll see that what we have here is macros broken down by room usage. So as you jump in, for example, to a device type, you'll see that I can then assign that room usage to a specific touch panel. So now I can have specific functions that take place on one touch panel that may not be available on a second touch panel or that might be available on all four touch panels within the room. Now as I jump through, um, as you finish this out, your summary is going to basically be broken up now based on your room usage. Again, you've got your two different rooms that we're using the equipment in, as well as the equipment that's used in both rooms. This gives a reliable way to manage all of these applications uh, within the RPM software. Now one final thing that I want to mention with regards to reliability, RPM uses a standard set of Netlinks code and standard set of touch panel files for every single system, which means that that reliability is going to be through and through on every single project that you build with the Rapid Project Maker software.